seventeenth, seventh day of the week, not a work day, it's the Lord proclaims it as His Sabbath. Not my Sabbath, but the Lord's Sabbath. He also says if we're to follow Him, we have to follow His commands, and we're to congregate and worship Him on this seventh day of the week that we like to call a Saturday. Well, let's get right into the Lord's Care Ministry, our daily walk with Jesus, day 106 of the year 2010. Jesus teaches about asking, seeking, and knocking. Brethren, you can write down the chapter and verse on a pad and paper, go back and study the whole lecture at your own leisure. And brethren, we can also use the pause button down here to start and stop this study so that you'll be able to find the proper place in your own Bible as we go along. Okay, let's get right into Jesus teaches about asking, seeking, and knocking. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7 through 11. Ask, and you will be given what you ask for. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks, receives. Anyone who seeks, finds. If only you will knock, the door will open. If a child asks his father for a loaf of bread, will he be given a stone instead? If he asks for a fish, will he be given a poisonous snake? Of course not. And if you hard-hearted, sinful men know how to give good gifts to your children, won't your Father in Heaven even be more certainly give good gifts to those who ask Him for them? Jesus told us to persist in pursuing God. People often give up after a few heart, half-hearted efforts and conclude that God cannot be found. But knowing God takes faith, focus, and follow-through. And Jesus assures us that we will be rewarded. Asking for snakes. A child in Jesus' example asked his father for bread and fish, good and necessary items. If a child asks for a poisonous snake, would his wise father have granted his request? Sometimes God knows we are praying for snakes and does not give us what we ask. Even though we persist in our prayers, as we learn how to know God better as a loving Father, we learn to ask for what is good for us, and then He grants it. Our daily need for prayer. Lord, I cannot hope to sit on your right or your left hand in your kingdom, nor to lean on your bosom, but at least for me to sit at your feet and hear your words. Faith is a gift that grows as we use it, and you hold fast to my name. I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he has dwelt bountifully with me. Your daily walk on that narrow path will bring you eternal life with the Father and his Son. O thou that hearest the prayers of faith. Psalms chapter one, 4 and verse 1 reads, Hear me when I call. Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, are you making void the word of God by not going and congregate with Christ-like believers? I say Christ-like believers. For they honor God the way that he commands. For he says in the scriptures, If you love me, keep 
the commandments. That's all of them. It's not a pick and choose. It's all of them. James 2.10 says, if you break even the least, you break on them all. If you break the Sabbath commandment then, you're a murderer, a thief, and an adulterer. I don't say that. Your Bible says that. Do you want to walk on that narrow path that we mentioned? You'll find it in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. Then get down on your knees and ask the Father for forgiveness. Ask Him to show you the way on that narrow path. To get you off that broad path of destruction. And if you truly want to change in your heart, He will hear you and grant you the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of the word that he has sent to you that is found in that Bible that should be in front of you. Brethren, with that, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful Sabbath. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.